today we're checking out grocery shopping in Japan from very inexpensive stores to the grocery stores that have everything. Come, let's see what goodies we can find. Oh, got two okay. today, huh? Fuji apples, my favorite. Right now it's apple season, so we take full advantage of the cheap prices. We are on a mission. Of all the grocery stores in Japan, Yomu Super is one of our favorites. Ooh, strawberries are starting to appear again. Yay. A couple potatoes. Oh my. Yes. <laughs> that looks good to Sarah. Let me see which one you got. Chocolate bread. Okay. Yes! <laughs> Joshua's favorite, huh? The chocolate bread. This is a staple that I love to have on hand because it's for yakisoba. So you buy it, it's the noodles all cooked. All you have to do is heat them up. And in here is a little package of all the seasonings. So all you have to do is put in whatever vegetables you want. And if you want meat, then the noodles and sauce are already all made. Sausages that we like. There's good ham here, good chicken here, huh? This ham is so yummy. Smoked ham. And it's so great to just chop up or put it in sandwiches. Sarah used to love these. They're all made uh, meatballs. So all you have to do is get this little package and put it in hot boiling water and it heats it up. Then you open up the package and they're ready to serve. They have two different types of meatballs. They have chicken. I don't know what that is, but it does not look appetizing. I never served that one. Big chunk of pork for $10. Nice, big old chunk of pork, huh? And all your seasonings. Tons of different types of soy sauces and sauces. Sometimes you just gotta buy some flour. <laughs> Fruit and flour go together. Oh, this. Okay, this is very Japanese. This is all the different types of seaweed. There's so many types of seaweed. Bug. They have skinny ones, fat ones, chopped up ones. See, it's like tinsel for your Christmas tree. And then they have all the furikake. These are like toppings for your rice. So plain old white rice. And you can change the flavor of your rice depending on which furikake you get. So, I know that it's endless. This is my sister's favorite. It's egg. Yeah. Egg with seaweed. Yeah. But then, yeah. there's so yeah. many. Yeah. They have these little variety yeah. packs yeah. for kids. Yeah. Yeah. They have oh, just endless options. Very cool. Yeah. This seafood stuff. Whoa. Wow. Ooh, and it's pakai. It's very expensive. The thing about here, since tempura is a big thing, you can buy everything already. Like all these shrimp, already all breaded for tempura. Look, like, it's probably squid, squid rings, octopus. This looks like octopus. Ice cream. Oh. <laughs> 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 the kids really no, but we want. we don't want it with the nuts on it. That's right, we'll get the one without the nuts. Okay, let's right, Tara? Yeah. Well, we found the correct kind. All right. And the cart is filling up quickly. Quickly. One thing I cannot find in Japan was molasses or corn syrup. No corn syrup. I've never found corn syrup. I can't even buy it on Amazon Japan. Two. Um, yeah, we better buy two. I I want to get it. Thank you. Oh, and one thing that you probably find mostly in Japan is matcha ice cream. Green tea ice cream. What? What? Yup. They do have Westerner style things. Lots of French fries. Our local store is tight and small, but this tiny space is full of great deals. If you can find it here, it's probably cheaper than any other grocery store. So is this like the international aisle here? It's all kind of mixed. This is more international. Oh, these are good crackers. Onion crackers. Those are good. The radishes here? I think this oh, is radish. Yeah. I think that they it's put like what this they do. With the yakisoba. Yeah. So here they have all these. Look at this. I have not a clue in the world what it is. Looks like you drink it with, eat it with beer. And this 
looks like earthworms. <laughs> this looks like kidney beans. These, ah, I don't have a clue what these things are, but they're very interesting. You can get it in a glob, or you can get it broken up. You can buy smaller packages, larger packages. I have no clue. Well, you probably have a lot of people tell you what it is. And there's always a line here. Mommy! Look what I found. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. My mom would be so thrilled. What I like about this store is their prices are very cheap. But, no, no, we're not buying that. They have limited supplies of certain, like they don't have all the options. Like you can't buy a lot of things here. But the things that they do have are very cheap. And that's very good. Well, honey. Okay. You found what you wanted? Yeah. Oh, nice. Because that was the last one. Oh, the last one. Wow. This is one of the few places where you still need cash to check out. Joshua, come over here, please, so people can put their groceries there. Now, how good are you at this part? I'm good. You're good? Good. 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 Mommy knows how to bag the food the best way. Oh, yeah. yeah. The kids are getting buckled in. And all the groceries are put away. Time to move on. Hey, Daddy. Daddy, what? Joshua's out. Joshua's out? Oh, did he eat so much? His tummy's so full. And now he's asleep. Let's just see how much asleep <laughs> he is. Oh, not so much. Ah, he's awake. What about Sarah? Is she awake? Ah! Now this store is a nice supermarket. There's many of them in Japan, but in our area, there's this one, there's Life, there's Odaku OX. I think they're like a regular American grocery store that has everything. Oh, our hands. Our hands. Good job. Oh, you can normally find any fruit here, except that they're really not in season, but like strawberries are starting. So you get what? 10 strawberries for $8. <laughs> so expensive. Okay, so this little melon is $23. Ah. You gotta really like melon for that, huh? <laughs> Here we get into the fish section. So you have every type of fish imaginable. The prices are fi on fish are very good. I personally love salmon, so I mostly go for salmon. And I try to get the salmon fillet because I really hate picking out bones. <laughs> Daddy! What is it, dude? Yeah. Oh, what do you see? Music. Music? And the fish are... <laughs> Those fish aren't dancing anymore. <laughs> Game See, over for them. Like the octopus or whatever these are called, squid maybe. You can get them already all chopped up, ready for you. This is a very common Japanese fish. They use, they eat this a lot with barbecue. I think now in the we fall did that too. At the barbecue, didn't we? we? Did at the barbecue. They eat the whole thing. This reminds me a lot of Brazil. Just very different types of fish. In Japan. It's the king of all the ramens. There is every type of ramen imaginable. Tons of cup noodles, tons. And you can even get cup noodle in bowls. <laughs> you soba noodles, then you can buy the more traditional types. Then you have all your seasonings on this side. You have individuals, you have packages of five. Then you get into your little more fancier soups. And then there's always curry and all. All different types boxed everything's boxed so that you just have the whole seasoning so you just add it add your meat here's what daddy likes lots of taco kits this is where we get our taco stuff when we need it yeah. and this is the baking aisle which is not even an aisle it's a little section things are so expensive though so like powdered sugar in japan is super expensive this is 
probably 200 grams and it's two dollars so it's a dollar a gram a hundred grams and vanilla this tiny little thing of vanilla is 350 but these they have some very convenient things and maybe they have them in the u.s i don't really know i love these little tarts they're already all made so all you have to do is just add your filling this is great for the lemon tart and then they have the chocolate ones that all you have to do is like add a chocolate mousse to it. Oh my goodness, it's so good. And then they have these cute, cute cookie cutters. All types of little thingies to bake things in. But these are just so cute. I don't really need one, but oh, it's so tempting. Oh, did you find tamago bottle? Yeah. <laughs> That's what you want for a treat? That's a lot of them, dude. You hold it and we'll buy it, okay? Don't squish it though, because we won't like it if you squish it. And this is the kid's favorite aisle because this is the snack aisle. So you have tons of rice crackers. Inimaginable amounts. And the seasonal place, huh? They're getting ready for Christmas. These little cheeses are so yummy because you can try a bunch of different styles in one sitting. Obento's lunch boxes are huge here in Japan and you can buy them at the grocery stores and they have every single type. So look at a couple of them. You can get just salads and fruits if you want. You can get these types that have noodles and a type of meat. And all of these little papery plastic things can be heated in the microwave. So when you buy it, right outside the cash register, every grocery store, every convenience store, has a microwave that you can use to heat up your bento. Sushi bentos. Sushi bentos, you don't need to heat those up. No, but oh, this They're looks They're good, you like them. So delicious. This is the type they like. That's what Becca and Anna like, huh? I think I'm gonna get just the salmon. They like just oh, salmon. Oh, salmon, yum. Daddy likes those too. All kinds of things. Tomorrow. So we had to go back and get a basket. We weren't planning on getting so much, but. <laughs> Maybe. Yes, they have it right here. These this are bread. amazing. Then Dad's job is to finish the checkout, get the things, <laughs> so that Mom can keep shopping in another store. Oh, yum. Like you guys love pancakes, don't you? Yum! Whoa! So this is my morning breakfast: two eggs and some bread. Some bread that we got the other day. Yummy breakfast. Okay, so we're leaving our house right now. My whole family. We're gonna go check out the new Madwitz grocery store. New grocery store. So we are putting together this video on grocery stores in Japan and wouldn't you know it, a brand new grocery store opened up this very weekend right next to us. So we have to go and check it out. Oh yeah. And they have Skechers on. Oh yeah. I have one too. You have Skechers on too? Sarah, they're new. Oh yeah, look at those Skechers, Sarah. Those it's just like jump backup. out. Wow. Yeah. So there are some other honorable mentions like OK Grocery Store. We really like OK. They've got great prices. It's always really cold in there too. Ooh, very cool. Checking out our new grocery store by us. How about this? Very cool. Food is essential for life. So it's nice to know there are a lot of options when it comes to grocery stores in Japan. Everything from fast and convenient to inexpensive and practical to fancy and expensive. It's all here and available. Well, all right. We got the lay of the land. Seemed pretty average price. I wasn't, it wasn't like Gyeong. <laughs> but they had a lot of, they had a lot more options I think than Gyeong. It's very conveniently located. So when I get back from language school, if I need something, I can stop at a grocery store on my way home. Yeah, that's nice. Very nice. Nice, huh, guys? <laughs> Everybody's munch, munch, munch. Drink, drink, drink. <laughs> So that's a look at how we do our grocery shopping here in Japan. Do you have any questions or comments? Leave them below. And as always, thanks for liking and subscribing. We'll see you next time on Life in Japan. Bye-bye.